Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video, I got a request on YouTube saying, actually on Facebook, saying how I can uh, grab the values from a select uh, control from the MVC application. And so here I have a basic select with this odd option, just countries. So as you can see, if you click on the button here, it will say you selected one, you know, and so on. Canada two, and if you do control on your keyboard, you can select two and hit save, and then you'll get the ID for this country. Two, uh, comma four. Very simple. But um, to starting starting MVC might be kind of complicated or at first so this is for a user in Facebook so what I'm gonna do now is show you how I did this so I'm gonna let this guy uh, stop debugging so what I done on um, to make this happen is I have a class called a uh, class named country in the models uh, folder very simple and this country has an ID and a name so that's the first thing if you want to follow this tutorial that's what you should do this class called country with two properties ID and name once you have that the next thing that I found very easy to do at least on the ASP.NET website they have a sample so I'm just gonna show how that sample looks you know step by step. So what you need to do here I have a, a method just returns a multi select list and it takes uh, what was selected. So when we start the page what we're gonna do here on this uh, method is just manually populate these countries with the IDs and as you can see see here you return uh, your bucket of countries and as you can see you pass the data value field and the data text field so um, the value is going to be ID and the text is going to be the name which is the country and select the value if any so that's it that's all you need this method and then I'm using the default index for that page. Uh, so what I've done is I just copy and paste this guy down here. The only difference is that this guy is going to take a post instead of a get. Like by default, this one I think it gets a get. So here I'm saying uh, the index, the co this code will run if the page comes from a post. HTTP post request. So the way to get values from uh, any control, or at least on this case the selective or drop down list, is you collect the form uh, when it get when it's posted. And as you can see here, I'm just grabbing the country. That's the control on the in on the index on the view called country. And then here I'm just select, just grabbing the value, it's a string. And here I'm saying uh, the ones that were selected and pass it on to con country list, which is the same method here. But in this case, I'm just saying which one was selected. So when we go to the index, uh, as you can see here, the first code that I have is. This one, um, view bag that you selected. If it's not no, that means uh, you already post the form, so you're gonna get you selected whatever value from this. Uh, once you post, you get this gonna be, be activated, or this code is gonna run. Now, if you if for the first time, it's just you're just gonna see this form. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, this is how you pass the values 
to the drop down list use this helper in this block and then you pass a string that's going to be the ID for this list drop down list or oh, this is a list block because we selected multiple at least on this tutorial and in here you pass the actual list which is an I enumerable uh, select list item and here I'm just casting it back to a multi select So that's all you have to do, get your helper, get the data out, and then once you have that, then you can start your begin form, which is going to post, since we're using an input type of submit, so it's going to trigger the post, uh, HTTP post on the browser. So the controller is going to say, okay, you're a post, you're coming from a post, so we're going to read the values here and return it back and then that's when it's not going to be null no anymore and it's going to trigger this code you select it you back so that's how you pass uh, at least from a list box or a drop down list see it will work the same way you grab the value from a post down to your controller so your view is sending the data over here uh, this argument on your uh, index or in your view page and that's how you grab it in the control that's how you can grab uh, the user's value so hopefully this was helpful anybody who wants to know how to do this and obviously you can you can change whatever it's returning instead of saying you select two you can say you have selected uh, Canada but in this case, I just say you select the number two. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just stop by YouTube at Nurse Center Dot Programming. Thank you for watching.